important to me that I actually come out and say straight out, I'm conservative. The reason I felt this was so important was because I have been afraid to say outright that I am a conservative for a lot of different reasons. The first is that I am an artist, I'm an opera singer, and in- Can you see by the dawn's early light Was that star-spangled who really values masculinity and finds masculinity very attractive. I don't find Harry Styles in a dress attractive. And this is something that kind of became part of the joke is that people were saying, oh my gosh, Harry Styles in a dress is just my type. He looks so handsome. He looks so great. No. Shut up. Incorrect. <laughs> As somebody who loves the fact that my husband is a man and is masculine, seeing a man in a dress doesn't really do it for me. I'm gonna be honest. Men don't belong in dresses. Shut up! It's because men should be men. It's a good thing for men to be men. Not to be the worst version of men, but to be good, strong, capable men. Girl, girl, girl! Oh, girl. This girl is delusional! The whole idea of toxic masculinity really bothers me because the word toxic implies that masculinity in and of itself is poison. Demi Lovato recently announced that she wants to be referred to by they, them pronouns, and this is what Candace Owens had to say. Announcing that your pronouns are they, them is just poor grammar. I don't care your reasons. Please stop trying to make low academic achievement a thing. Now this went viral, and of course people hated it. But I have to agree, this drives me crazy, okay? They and them are plurals, and you are a singular human being. So I'm not going to say they, them. Baby, I'm not even here. I'm a hallucination. When I'm referring to one person. They and them, from a strictly grammatical perspective, means that you view yourself as multiple people. Actually, yeah, they can be used as a singular pronoun too. Like if you said, I'm going to see my friend, I could ask, where do they live? Since I don't know your friend's gender identity. And some individuals prefer they as a pronoun. Like meet or bot, they are my best friend. I don't really think that it makes sense for us to use they and them to describe a singular individual. They and them is just not grammatically correct. I can't. To refer to one person. And I agree with Candace in that I don't think it's acceptable. We don't need to call singular people by plural the third thing is that take the time before you're married to learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook now, then maybe take some time and watch some YouTube videos or ask your mom and get some recipes under your belt. Whenever I hear president, I think of man. It's a man's job. Because at 50 years old, do you want to be trying to be praised for your body or praised for your family? For your body or for your wisdom? Do I look? One, two, three. 